Swift, a powerful programming language for building the mobile apps on iOS, desktop apps on macOS, and wearable apps on watchOS. Writing Swift code is interactive and fun. The syntax is concise yet expressive, and Swift includes modern features that developers love. So if you are planning to get started with Swift programming, you are in the right place. For starting out, there is a tool called Swift Playground which makes it fun to learn and experiment with the Swift. So for installing Swift Playground, you just have to go to your App Store. So let me just go to Spotlight Search and search for App Store. And you just have to search for Swift Playground. So just search for that. And you just have to install this one. So let me just click here. So once this Swift Playground is downloaded, so let me just search for Playgrounds and just click Enter. So this will open the Playgrounds. And down here, you can see the option to create new Playground. So just click on that and this will create my playground so just click on that and here we just need to write the program so for writing the first simple swift program so i will just write something like print hello world to write the simple hello world program and to run this program i can just click here so down here you can see the option run my code so just click on that and here you just need to click here so this will show the output here so similarly, let me just write a simple program to add two numbers. So for that, let me just clear this one first and just type where to declare the variable and just write a equals 10. And let me just declare another variable b with value 20 and another variable for storing the sum. So for that, I will just write sum equals a plus b. For printing, we just have to write print the sum of numbers is and just type slash and just keep the bracket and just write sum and close the bracket and if i just click on the run my code here so you can see the sum of numbers is 30 so this is how you write the simple program to add two numbers so similarly let me just write uh, another program for simple if else condition so for that let me just declare a variable where and just write number equals 10 and let me just write something like if number is greater than zero so we will be printing the number is positive so just write the number is positive and in else condition we will write something like print if number is less than zero else condition so the number is negative so now if i just run this program so this should display the number is positive since we are passing the so if I have to pass the negative number so I can write the function which is called negate so let me just write number dot negate so just write n e g a t so this will make this 10 minus 10 so this should now show the number is negative so if I just run the program so here you can see the number is negative so this is how you install the Swift Playground on your MacBook M1 or any macOS.